Hey, ladies. How are y'all tonight? So good to see y'all. I'm going to pull up our comments. Maybe. Uh, Sandy had a great craft tonight. She was doing those uh, clothes tag thingy-doos. Those were really kind of cool. I am going to do a this. I'm going to do an altered envelope, uh, paper sack envelope. Uh, fun, fun, fun. And uh, this is actually, I, I am, I had so much fun with this project. I, I was, I was shocked at, at how fun this, this thing, this little thing was. I'm still trying to get her comments up. I don't know if you ladies are there or not. I can't see, but I am. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Y'all were talking about the weather. It has been like crazy, crazy hot in Texas, guys. Well, it's not pulling up right now. I'll just assume you guys are there. I don't know. But, any -oh who I am just thrilled to be with y'all. I raced home from a, my uh, grandson turned four last week, and, um... I, he had a birthday party today, so I was at Chuck E. Cheese. That was exciting, and um, so I, um, I I was at that party, and um, that was exciting. I'm telling you what, I'm still trying to get comments to come up. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. I hate this. I love to talk to y'all. There I am, finally. There's like a delay or something. Hey, Tabitha. Hi, Linda. Hi, Tammy. Ellen. Let me turn myself down because I sure don't want to hear myself. I know y'all probably don't want either, but... <laughs> we, we, this, this craft is too fun. It, it, look at it. Uh, I put this little paperclip thingy that uh, Michelle um, Harrington gave me. Isn't that a cute paperclip? Um, but anyway, this is an altered paper sack. And you've got a pocket here, and you've got a pocket behind there. So it's a double pocket. And then I decorated the back, and we'll, I didn't decorate this part because I'm going to use this part to attach to my journal. Let me, let me just get this. This is, a, this is a, like a little sneak peek of my, my, little stu my steampunk journal I'm working on. But anyway, I'm going to attach this to the page this way and then it's going to flap up and there'll be journal and space here and uh, then I'm going to tuck some little goodies down in the pocket and I'm going to use this to um, I don't know that I'm going to keep that on there or not probably not I'll probably figure out something else on that but uh, I'm going to tell you what this steampunk journal is some kind of a work girls I am telling you well Penny I'm so glad you did find me uh, what did you say, Tammy? Oh, my gosh. It, no, it was hot. Hot, hot, hot here in Texas. But uh, I, we're supposed to have a cold front. We'll be down to the 90s. Oh, goodness gracious. A cold front when you're in the 90s. You know you're in Texas. This uh, is the kit that I'm working with tonight. Line Dot Arrow uh, Vintage Steampunk. And she calls it kit number three. I, I guess she's got two others. But this one is fabulous. And uh, I'm on that, uh, I told y'all, uh, I printed it on vellum. Uh, I'm on a uh, design team project, and uh, so, so, so fun. So honored to be on that. Uh, let me show y'all real quick some of just how beautiful this kit is. Uh, these are your journal pages, or your, you know, your, just your regular pages. This one is one of my favorites, with the, with the girls in the top hats, and, um, and then here's a, a beautiful, like, uh, just a, just a, I don't know, uh, just a, like a collage page. And this one is another one of my favorites. I love that bright, deep red rose and the, the little globe thing on there. And um, this little top, oh, this one with the numbers and the top hat. Oh, my gosh, this, this kit is something else. And this is my favorite page. The blue and the brown and all of that, 
I don't know. I think my lighting might be off. I'm going to look at that in just a second. And here's some more of it. Uh, we're going to, this is one of the pages we're going to work with tonight. I love this one. Hey, Lori. Good to see you, hon. And I'm just showing off this kit. Uh, I know this kit is amazing. Amazing. And um, then here's some, uh, she's got the, I've already fussy cut the tags. Uh, she's got a, a sheet full of tags. Uh, these kind of smaller, medium size, I'd say, tags. And um, uh, I already, I've already cut those. But, um, or I'd have that page to show you. And here's the larger tags. They're just, um, I'm, I'm, let me keep this in shot. Y'all could, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? And they're just gorgeous. And then she's got the, the cards, uh, little postcards. Two, there's uh, some ephem ephemera pages uh, that's, she's, the kit is just packed, packed with stuff. And we're going to work with that tonight. Hey, Jan, good to see you. But let me set that aside. And uh, steampunk is something that uh, I'm, I'm learning a lot doing this project. And I thought, well, let me uh, do, let me, I, I did not figure, I didn't figure out what I was going to do for the live until Friday. And uh, we have a swap for next month, so this is kind of a spoiler, but it's not. This is going to be a tutorial for that swap, uh, but it's it's called an altered, uh, I think it's called altered paper sack or paper bag envelope. And uh, I showed you, I showed you that, and you're gonna, it's gonna have your two pockets that you know the sack itself comes, you know, has the pocket, and then we're gonna create a pocket you know, in the back here, and then uh, you don't have to decorate the back, I just chose to because I, I want to leave this as journal and space in that um, journal that I'm working on, and I added some gears and some other fun ephemera, some cheesecloth, and there you go. Now, this was a kind of a medium, I say medium, a small, a little bit bigger than like a mini sack. I thought tonight, I thought, well, am I going to work with a regular size sack? Because the only regular size sack I have is white. And then I thought, well, am I going to work with this, this sack here that I dyed pink? Um, let me fix the sliding because that is just something else. Um, now you can see this is pink. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and go with a regular size because I'm thinking that most of y'all, uh, you know, probably have your regular lunch size sacks. I have the giant size, but those are like way too big. And um, uh, my sister's texting in. Sorry for all that beeping. Dan, I'm on the live. But the first thing you do is you take your sack, uh, and we're going to fold. You know how it has this little part here? We're going to fold this part over to where these two meet, to where these two ends meet. So let me do that and try to do it in camera shot. <laughs> And you know, not all sacks are the are, are made the same. Every sack is is somewhat different, you know. So you'll you'll just have to kind of play around with it. But essentially, you're taking the the bottom of the sack and you're folding it in 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 like this. And I'm gonna find my bone folder. Up oh, there it is. I didn't lose a tab. And now you see how this sack has got this little this little thing popping up. That's not going to matter because I'm going to cover it. Uh, am I? Yes, because I like to use this. Uh, no, I am. Yes. Let me see how this works. No. So I'm going to glue this part down because that little piece is trying to come up, and I'm not going to be I'm not going to be decorating this this section. I had to look at it twice see where I was at and let me let me glue that down and if your sack has all these little variations to it you may have to you play with it a little uh, I think sewing on this project would be extremely gorgeous but I don't have a sewing machine I don't sew but uh, hey Kennedy nice to see you sweetie she was at my my grandson's birthday party and then you take this part I like to use the part that has the little the little the flip the little cut out there and that's the side I use to to come up to form the pocket 
you want it to come underneath this this flap here but not all the way to the top of the crease because you want to have room sorry my cat is jumping on the get down sorry about that moving the camera um, Elsa just now I'm not seen Elsa since I got home but the second I turn on this camera here she comes so we're going to crease this down and now we have formed what is essentially going to be our pocket we've got our flap here and we've got our flap in the back and this is now when we start to distress or to um, alter it to uh, cover it up decorate it well not decorate we'll come to do decorate in a minute but basically altering the sack covering it and I wanted uh, I was looking while I was on the live with uh, Sandy and uh, picking out some papers and I liked uh, this sheet. I told y'all this is one of my favorite sheets of the kit. I love these roses down here. I like this little um, stamp here, uh, a printer's stamp. That I is on there. Uh, so that's what I'm choosing. And it's got this little touch of blue over here to the side. A uh, little turquoise-like blue. And, well, this is half of that, that page. And I thought, well, I'm going to use this uh, to, to decorate. I'm going to do a lot of inking on my sack itself because I'm using, uh, well, I, I did uh, ink the, the brown sack too, but not very heavily. Uh, but since I'm using this white sack, I'm, I'm definitely going to, to do some inking on that. I pre-made my bow so y'all wouldn't have to watch me do that. Aren't y'all proud? I'm not going to endure that tonight if I choose to use it, but I think I will. And now you see how this sack does this little number here. We're we're not going to worry about that. That's part of the beauty of this of this project. Uh, you may think, oh well, I don't like that. So just get another sack. Your next sack may not do it. You know, uh, each each sack has its own uh, little personality and and thing going on. And so let me figure out where I want. To cut this I liked the little deckled edge so that's what I that's what I went with on on this and I'm gonna deckle this here and let me um, get out my you know my ruler me and my ruler we got a thing a thing we do I hope you guys are doing good. Did y'all craft along with uh, Sandy tonight? Are y'all going to craft with me? I didn't know if Kim would get on here and do her thing. She likes to craft along. I know Linda had gathered some tags and was going to craft along with um, with Sandy. Those I I actually had saved some, some clothing tags myself. I had some pretty cool shapes. I had some round ones. I order a lot on on at Facebook on boutiques, and I was going to craft with her, but I raced home from that party and just didn't didn't have my supplies together. So I'll have to get on get out my stuff and see if I can incorporate that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just use brown because that's what I've got out. This is the gathered twigs, and I'm going to. Um, stamp around my sack too or ink around my sack too now the, of course I like I tell y'all every time I start to ink and you don't have to do this you know this is your own some people like ink some people you know would rather just you know go with with a but I like a vintage look so you know I'm a um, I love to ink so and especially on this white sack um, I definitely wanted uh, some, give it some um, some texture to it. So that little piece is done, and we're gonna glue this down. And I'm just gonna use my Fabri-Tac because that's what's here. Normally, I use um, Scotch when I do paper to paper. My Scotch glue stick. But I'm just going to use my um, the Fabri-Tac. And Tabitha is such a sweetheart. She sent me this Sugar Bell bottle. And I love playing with it. 
and she and when she sent me that she sent me this little I don't know what this is it's a spreader you know and I'm having fun with this thing and it won't leave the it's it gets everything off to the ends I'm I'm just really enjoying this this little contraption thing this is my little another little tool to play with love it well Lori this is a fun craft. I hope you um, I hope you enjoy it. You know, you said you're you're trying to. Let me get this on here straight if I get quit to yapping. And and in a minute I'm gonna cut a little notch here. And so the front is um, well my, my glue kind of dried up. Let me let me let me do that again. I don't know what happened with that. When I spread it, it like it like um, dried up on me. And I'll do it again. And when you do this, just make sure, uh, like I opened my sack up just now, uh, just make sure you're you're getting your pages uh, in the right direction, you know, because this is going to go this direction. And I think the white sack's going to be okay. This, this is going to be okay. I tried to pick some papers that had some white touches to it. And then we're going to decorate, uh, or we're going to cover this piece. We're going to cover this piece. I'm going to do a little piece here, too, because uh, there's just a little piece of this showing. And then we'll come back. We won't decorate this this top of the, uh, this part of the flap, but I am going to decorate this and this entire section here. So, that being said, let's pick a piece for right here. And I think maybe I'll just keep going with this, because look how that continues that circle there. I kind of like the the way that that's going to turn out. So I'm going to go with that and just carry on with this same piece. And I'm picking my... Okay, Lori, you get your stuff. If you need help figuring out where I'm at, let me know. But this is uh, like easiest project ever ever I, lo I love this thing and where's my anchor thing but this is going to be a swap in October uh, we're getting ready to enter our events and um, show y'all what we have going on for October and I'll put this in the event as uh, the tutorial for it. That'll work. And it's just a matter of folding your sack right, covering it, you know, in the right directions. I, on the last one I made, I made sure to leave journal in space. Uh, because I'm adding it to a journal but if you're going you could just stick this sack straight down onto a page and just make this a pocket with a with a, a double pocket with a flap you know um, so you wouldn't even have to decorate the the back uh, there's you know several different variations on on how you can approach this I wish I'd have inked this first, but it's okay. We work around our issues, don't we? Well, I have more than the average Joe. So, oh Lord, have me, help me. But this is definitely going to be a fun swap. I might even sign up for two partners myself. I talked myself into two partners on the layered uh, word tags. <laughs> 
All right, and that's how that's going to look there. That's that's really nice. And then, see, we still have this piece left. And I needed a flat part there. Oh, my gosh, this just is as if, as if it, it was supposed to be, right? So this was this one part of this page that I just simply made the most out of all the scraps. And that just really worked out perfect. But now, I just happen to be working with this steampunk kit right now. Uh, you can, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what y'all come up with, with your different paper choices. And uh, then when we get to the decorating, what you will do when you decorate, y'all blow me away with, with what y'all do. And um, it's going to be fun. In fact, uh, that's, my, that's the best part for me is to get in these swaps and then, you know, get my partner's take on, on things. I, I just, I love it. I have a, um, a box that I put uh, a lot of my swaps in. And then when I do projects like I'm doing right now for that, this steampunk thing, I, I sifted through there the other day and was like, ooh, I can use this, I can use this. So I had all these, all these different um, opportunities to, to, you know, use the, um, the stuff that you guys send me in my, you know, that we use in the swaps. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this, even though this is going to be glued down, but I don't know, because the sack's all cattywonka, so I don't know that it won't show. So let me, let me ink that. And then I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to ink now, so I don't make that same mistake. But as you can see, this is a quick, easy, it, I think it's a quick project. I did that smaller sack today fairly quickly. Uh, I thought I would go ahead and do this larger one, and I'll, I'm going to look at my steampunk project and see, hey, I might just throw both of these in there. I don't know. But I wasn't real thrilled with having the white sack. But by the time I get through with all this ink, nobody will know anyway. <laughs> I'll just make it brown. That's why I'm putting a little extra ink than I normally do. Let me... There we go. Okay, I like that. This this white sack is going to be okay. I was giving it a hard time before we started. Hey Cheryl, nice to see you, girl. And that's the that's the start. Now we're going to do. We won't cover this part, but we are going to cover this one. And what I had thought for this section here, what this was, I thought this went really well with white, uh, the white sack. So I'm going to. And I don't know, maybe I should stick with the deckled part. I think I'll I think I'll just leave this one straight and not but I'm uh, I don't like to measure, so I'm going to use my pencil and give myself where I want to get things. And I'm going to tear it as opposed to cut it. Let me get my stuff out of the way. And how I approach tearing, if I can find my little... Here it is. If I can find my, my mark. I put my mark here on my grid. Uh, Y'all can't see very well. But I put my mark on my grid, get my paper straight. And then I line my ruler up on my grid, and I generally usually have a, a straight edge by doing that. Hey Barbara, nice to see you, sweetie. And here was my other mark. And I'll line that up. And then this will be 
if I've done this right. And she has. It's a miracle. And I'm going to ink this. And, oh gosh, this, this kit is just gorgeous. I love working with this paper. Next month I'm working on a fall project for Karen, Creative Paper Artisan. Excited about that one too. I'll, um, I'll show you all that kit uh, probably on the next live. Or I'll do a video, one of the two. I like to spread this out because I don't like to see the the lines of the glue come through the paper because I use my copy paper that I print my digitals with sometimes unless I do it on cardstock the lines will come through and then there's that part and we're gonna we're gonna look into decorating that part and let me see what I have out here and what goes with that I don't know maybe I'll just carry on oh goodness look how that looks that just carries that that on I like it I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again and I'll mark my, my place it's alright Barbara I um I'll uh, go back and, and show you uh, real quick uh, the the makings of this sack. Uh, super, super easy. And um, it's just a matter of folding your sack and covering the, the little sections, so to speak. And uh, then glued or sew would be gorgeous. Uh, but like I said, Stacy don't sew. Tabitha and I were talking about that today. I might change that someday because I really love the way sewing looks on projects. It's one of my favorite things that I see people do. But I I wouldn't know the first thing about a bobbin, how to do that. I don't know. My daughter sews like a dream, but I'll get her to show me something or two if I ever get a machine. Here we go. And there she is. I like how that that carries that wheel kind of carry that little gear wheel thing carries on. There is a little bit of journaling space if somebody wanted to use that. This is the back, technically. And Barbara, for if you, um, uh, oh, do you sew, Linda? That is so super cool. This is the sack. Uh, well, no, it went like this. This is the sack right here. And you're going to take this part of the sack, and you're going to uh, divide those in two. And you've got a flap on the front and a flap on the back. And then you're going to take your sack and you're going to fold up to fold it in half, basically. You want to leave room here, um, you know, so that you can get things down inside the pocket. I want to... Well, hello, Vicki. How are you doing, darling? I want to cut a little notch here. If I'm in center... And I am pretty good. And we'll ink that up. And that that is that. And then we're on to decorating after we make our pocket. And because I don't sew, we are gluing. So we will glue down 
each side of the of the pocket the sack you know the little folded over part and we will now I uh, earlier um, excuse me for reaching over um, earlier I put my clips on here and held this down this isn't a pro this isn't anything you have to do but I you know I suggest it it's unless you just want to sit there and hold it uh, now if you sew you, of course you don't have to have this you don't have this issue and um, and again I'm going to glue this part down to the page but I, let me finish what I'm saying uh, if you if you clip this down and then you can go on and do other stuff you're not held uh, holding this down <laughs> but um, I'm going to glue this part down to the page like so and then this is going to flap like that and this can be journaling space more journaling space and then I've got the pocket uh, here inside here and then I've got the pocket here so you've got double pockets in here and then this is your flap now we're on to decorating and let's look at that I pulled out a few things and I had tore this little piece of the of the kit and I just thought this was uh, cute this little man on the bicycle thing with this little top hat I took some um, coffee dye paper and wadded it up to make um, to make it kind of grungy and I'm going to just run my my uh, little blending tool thingy over it so it'll pick up those um, wrinkles and that's I'm gonna back my um, little man on the bicycle I'm gonna back him on this and then I'm going to tear around that. And that was my plan of attack with this little decorating part. I'm also going to look at some trim to put on the flap and possibly the bottom of the envelope too. We'll look at that here in just a second. And then I'm going to tear. I love the way this um, wrinkled. I just wadded the paper up and um, and I love how the ink picks up on those um, on those wrinkled parts. And I'm going to tear around that and then I will ink that too and y'all would think I go through like a ton of ink right yeah I love all projects with lunch sacks myself um, I'm oh my gosh I did that uh, journal in a bag that loaded paper bag for the line dot arrow uh, last month and I loved how that turned out but that was a project that uh, project idea I got from Tabitha Haystack Creations she has a fabulous process video on that loaded paper bag if y'all have never seen that y'all go check that out um, that is a great project Barbara that you I think you'd really love and let me take these little clippies off and we'll get to decorating uh, I like I think I like that I'm gonna put him at an angle that's gonna be alright because uh, this is something I learned in uh, graphics design he's going this way uh, he's going to the right so if I put him over on the right he's rolling outside he's rolling to the right of the project of the piece and it's 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 better for the eye if you put something that I don't this is just something I'm telling you that I learned in graphics design 
and because he's right, writing to the right, I'm going to put him on the left so that he's going into my project and not leaving my project. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe that's just information that you just never wanted to know, but that's my, my take on why I'm putting him here. And let me look at what else I want to do. I am looking at my trims that I pulled out. I love this little piece of lace. And I may want to use that along the bottom. And I think I do. Let me cut this a little piece of this off. Let's see if I can cut this straight. Lord help me. I think I got that. Oh my gosh, I think I got it straight. And I'm going to put that along the bottom. I love how that kind of shines. I'll cut off the, on the other side there. I'm going to lay that on top. And let me see, what else did I pull out? And I have my bow that I'm probably going to use because there's touches of blue on here. And I like this tealish blue bow. I got this this is some seam binding that I got from uh, Tabitha. And, and then I know I want to add um, maybe some, uh, they had these cool numbers in the, um, in the kit. And I probably want to add a couple of those or one of those. They have this little ephemera, these little men. I don't know. Here's more of these little numbers that I got off of Google. Let me cut that and see just if I want to use that or not. I don't know if I like that one. I think I like this one for sure. I don't like that one, but I like that one, and I pulled out this little word. I liked this vintagey, grungy kind of look to this phrase, and I thought I would I would use that. And I never cut off the excess of this stuff. I leave it so that I can find it <laughs> in my in my in my thingy. And I may use that there. I'm gonna leave the butterfly alone. I like I like that butterfly over there, so I'm definitely gonna leave that alone. If I'm gonna use the bow, I might I might put that bow down there, put that there. I don't know. I'm a I'm just looking at all the stuff I pulled out. This uh, oval here is part of the kit and I could make a like make a little mini collage over here to the to the right and I'll ink these little numbers up let me look at this we'll get oh I'll, I'll get I'll get myself together here girls Maybe that's too many numbers. Oh, I like this circle. This has that balloon on it. That's part of the kit, too. I don't know. Maybe I'm happy just like that. What do y'all think? I know I'm going to cut off part of this. This bow needs a haircut. There she goes. She's not so crazy now. And 
I don't know. I think I'm quite pleased with that. And up here, we're going to use this phrase. You are quiet tonight. Okay. I'm definitely going to use that phrase up there. I'm thinking I like that. So let's put down our lace first, our trim first. And I'm telling you what, I love this little sugar bell bottle. It is so much fun to use. I don't know if, you know, glue can be fun, but it, it's fun with the sugar bell bottle, that's for sure. Fun, fun, fun. I like this way this lace is shiny. Look at that. That's lovely. Get that straight. Cut off my extra. And I don't, I may add some trim up here too. And if I do, I want a a smaller trim oh maybe I like that I think I do as a matter of fact I didn't mean to lay that down there but look what happened look what happened I'm gonna do that kind of brings out that lace a little bit. Hi, Michelle. That looks good with those laces layered there. And then I'm going to lay down my, my little bicycle man. And you just have fun decorating your, um, your sack, however, in whatever style you have, whatever supplies that you have. You know, I've told you all this before. I just use what you have. Um, no sense in, um, you know, going out and getting this out of the other when uh, you know you can just work with what you have I love Fabri-Tac how you still have time to move and and work with your with your stuff okay and then we're gonna put these numbers on here like so well, I got fabric tack on my hands, on my fingers. And then I'm going to put this bow right here. That's what I'm going to do, ladies. So let me just put a little glue here. A little dot of blue here. You're not a fan, Barbara? Well, you would think I'm sponsored by them right now because I'm in love. I enjoy using this one. I went and bought some more Fabri-Tac at, at Walmart uh, yesterday and came home and filled it up.
But you know, the thing is, uh, everybody's got their own. Some people don't even want to use FiberTech, or they want to use FabriFix or whatever. You know, um, for the longest, I was using um, the Eileen's or whatever. And uh, then I, uh, I come across some art glitter and got attached to that. I'm going to let that bow sit there and not play with it. And there we go so far. That's where we're at. And I may want to put a little piece of something behind. Let me see what I got. I, I like that pretty good. I know it's going to hang off a little bit, but that's okay. That's going to be okay. I like that. And that was just a little piece of lace that had stick in there, and it just, you know, as if it was meant to be. Did you ever say why you didn't like? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't catch the comment. Why you didn't like the sugar bell? I'm gonna put this just a little bit, a little bit off center, but yet at the same time, kind of straight. <laughs> that didn't make no sense, but it did. And there she is. And that is that. I don't know. I was gonna maybe think about some gears. I have some little gear charms, but I think I may just leave this be. I think I like it just like it is. Yeah, I do. And then it makes, you have your pocket here. Now, I've seen, or I was thinking where maybe I may want to add glue here uh, to this to this little uh, folded piece here, but I think I want a, the pocket to have some some depth to it, so I'm gonna leave it be and not glue it just yet. I may at a later time say, "Hmm, this is just too big of a pocket," but I'm gonna leave that alone. And this way, this pocket has a little accordion to it. But at the same time, it has this pocket back here too. So you've got double pockets. One has the potential to be kind of kind of big, and I'm gonna get me a a paper clip and I'm going to use a pink one because you know me in pink well yeah it's kind of pink and there she is that is uh, that that is that is all there is to it guys it is the easiest craft on the planet um, what did I do with that oh, here it is here's the one that I made before we came on and this was the smaller pocket uh, or the smaller sack see the difference in the in the sizes uh, then if I had used the pink sack that would be about this size so then this would be like the baby this would be the mama and this would be the daddy so uh, I'm, I'm just a goober but you can pick any size sacks there you know you could use the giant lunch sacks um, I have some of those too uh, but this you know has your double pockets and we're decorated on the front and then this part will be glued down and so it'll be a flap uh, that I had given the, t the the journal in space to and uh, love this little paper clip thank you Michelle and uh, there's there's that one and then this one is using the regular size lunch sack and there's your pockets your this one is the big pocket and then you know your little uh, your smaller pocket uh, or the thinner pocket uh, there um, your little flap uh, it would be cool if we did uh, the the little string uh, closure where you put the circle here and the circle there with your brads and made yourself a little closure 
I'm sure there's an official name for that. I can't, I don't know what it is. If y'all know, tell me. And, uh, but again, made this to where I could glue this part down. And this uh, is, you know, journal in space if I wanted to. However, I could have decorated it too. Or don't decorate any of it and glue the whole thing down. And, you know, then um, there's the two pockets that you can get to. So there's many different ways to do this. Uh, can't wait to see what y'all come up with. We'll enter this event, or I'll enter this event next week, with, along with uh, probably four or five other events that I'm responsible for. Uh, but this is just one of them, and it's called the Altered Lunch Sack Envelope. But it, it may be called Paper Bag Envelope. I'd have to look, but um, either way, same thing. Lunch sack, paper bag. And, uh, but you make, uh, uh, I think, I think, what do y'all think, two? Uh, make two of them and send to your partner. Uh, keep it in mind when you're, like this one, these both would be great for mailing because they're flat, even though it has uh, the little embellishments on there, the, the gears and the key, uh, still would be cool to, because to, it's flat. So you're still going to get, uh, you're not going to be paying a fortune for uh, shipping. You know, keep in mind when you're when you're doing your decorating on that, uh, you don't mind you know paying the extra on the shipping, then go for it. You know, but uh, I'm always mindful of that when I'm thinking of the swaps. Um, you know, and if y'all don't know, and I'm sure most of you do, I just keep cardboard uh, here that's cut off, that's extra of whatever, and I sandwich my. Uh, I'll put a piece of cardboard here piece of cardboard here and then put it in my envelope and the mailman isn't feeling of the bumpy part all he feels is this and it generally it, it gets right by I the lady at the post office one day I took something up there and she's feeling all over the envelope feeling feeling and she she told me she said well this is going to be parcel I was like oh goodness gracious so I went home I repackaged the same thing and all I did was sandwich it in between uh, two pieces of cardboard took it back up there and then she it was uh, two stamps I was like lady you wanted to charge me four dollars and now it's you know a dollar so anyway that's that um, love this project I think I, I think I really like how this turned out I might use both of these in my in my little steampunk steampunk project I don't know what time we we have yep we're good on time Good going. I'm sorry I ran just a couple of minutes over. Uh, yapping and yapping about the post office. Uh, you guys, um, go ahead and uh, look forward to this project. I mean, this swap. We have so many other great swaps coming up. We have some wonderful contests coming up as well for October. Uh, you guys are going to be delighted with what we have going on. Uh, yeah, is it, the post office lady is crazy here in Iowa Park. I guess it's it, they get paid extra to do that, Barbara. Um, but uh, the the this is just one of the swaps, and I'll get that entered next week, so it'll be starting uh, in October, and we'll have lots of those. We'll have some great contests, and I'm not gonna. This was just the spoiler on this one, and uh, oh, it's your birthday, Penny, this month, October. Well, good to go. Is your birthday on our list? I haven't looked at the October birthdays. If you are not on our list, if you have not added your birthday, please do. If you have, then I'll get you. I'll take care of you. And I just love you guys. Thank you all for for, uh, for hanging in there for two lives. Thank you for putting up with me. I am blessed to have you as my friends. And uh, show me what, what you make. Uh, post on the, on the group what you do. And I will look forward to seeing you all on the page. And if you all need me, you know you can always uh, just private message me. I'm right there for you all. Thank you. You all have a great, great night. Bye-bye.